What's good, my fellow introverts? Welcome back to my channel. It's a girl, Mina here, back with another recommendation video. Guys, as you can see by the title, today's recommendation videos are movies and TV shows based on books. And these are my personal favorites, and I've been waiting so long to do this video because it's the perfect blend of my favorite things. For anyone that knows me well, they know I'm a lover of movies and TV shows, hence the channel. And I also love books. I read about three books a week, if I can. <laughs> it's gotten to a point, of course, where I made a whole entire book recommendation website um, to share my love of books and stories. And I do have a recommendation list filled with a specific category such as this one, um, books that are now movies and stuff. But these are all my personal favorite movies and TV shows. I have not, unfortunately, read the books for these yet. But trust me, it's on my to-read list because it's been, <laughs> I've been working my way up to it. I don't have a lot of hard copy books. I think I only have two. And that's because I want to build a bookshelf just for my obsession. So I'm going to start collecting books at a certain point as well as um, movies. Probably going to do the, the movie thing in a different way. But, you know, I want to do that. So I haven't really got hard copy books. And these deserve hard copy books. These are hard copy stories, guys. I don't want to read it on my Kindle. I want this in my hand. I don't want to turn the pages. So I want to get right into this video, guys. I'm so excited. Let's get it. First up is Jumper. Now, Jumper is about a teenage boy who goes to school one day, says hi to his friend. He's a quiet little sweetheart. Once I was a normal person, a chump, just like you. He goes to school. He says hi to a girl he likes. Jump forward and it's after school and he decides to give her something or along the lines of... It's a little dinged up and it's missing a few steps. But... I love it. And there's a bully making fun of him and stuff. Hey, what's this? Right, Mark, Mark, Christmas come early? Mark. And next thing you know, he's falling through ice. All good, see? Great. Come back. Crazy shit. He's drowning. He can't find the, the hole he fell through. And next thing you know, he teleports into his school's library flushed with water he got the surrounding water so he teleported the water with him and ensues a freak out a mental freak out everyone thinks he's like dead because he never goes back to school he's scared of course he goes in his room and you know hence figures out he's not normal he tries it again and the next time he tries it he tries it in a bank <laughs> i was 15. come on what would you have done I figured I'd pay it back someday. So he hops into a bank safe and steals some money. <laughs> Years pass and this guy is a full-fledged teleporter. Unfortunately, he's missing some information because teleporters, well, jumpers, as they're called, jumpers, they are caught and killed by a organization, a special organization that has tools that could capture jumpers and stuff like that. <laughs> Only God should have the power to be all places at all times. So he's not in the know-how. He hasn't ever been in the know-how on, on these kinds of stuff. He just been, you know, living his best life teleporting everywhere jumping everywhere jumping into things out of things has a whole big house like this is years has passed he never finished high school <laughs> of course that's not what he's worried about when he has such a sick power i always loved this movie and i always hated the fact that they didn't finish it like the series was finished it was such a great and fun movie that it deserved a second one because we all saw the ending for those that actually watched it I'm totally excited to read the book eventually because I want to know what happens at the end. I'm not going to give away no spoilers, guys. Nothing too intense. So don't worry. So guys, check out Jumper. I promise it's one of the greatest movies. And check out the book if you're ready for the book because it seems so awesome. Thanks. I mean, like, who wouldn't get tempted 
<laughs> to do some nefarious things with powers such as teleportation. I mean, guys, come on. It's a masterpiece of fiction. Well, to my younger self and my ad current adult self, I still love Jumper. It's such a great movie, guys. Check that out. Next up, we have The Golden Compass. Now, guys, when this first came out, I think I watched it in the movies and my mind was blown. I love the character Lyra. She was spunky and she was fierce. And she, she did what she wanted to do regardless of her not knowing who what happened to her parents and not knowing her own story. And in this world, it's a parallel world to Earth where kids has a life lifelong companion called demons. And they're in the form of different animals. Could be a bird, a cat, a dog. From childhood to a certain age, the demons shift into different animals. Of course, if they've been shifting into a bird or a flying sort of animal, um, eventually they'll stop and choose an animal forever. Like, this is who I'm going to be. <laughs> and as the demons portray the, the kid's inner soul. And Lyra was born with Pan, this cute little kind of animal situation going on. Now, before the show, guys, on HBO, there was the movie, and it was amazing. Lyra's best friend gets kidnapped, and she immediately leaves the safety of her home and goes after him. And thus ensues her communicating with a bear, a talking bear, which is... Um, thieves and smugglers and just a whole lot of and it's such an action filled kind of movie and I know for sure the book was amazing because the movie is amazing and the current show on HBO Max is amazing and it's it's filled with fantasy and adventure and it's one to watch and I'm sure it's one to read so guys make sure you check it out don't be afraid Promise. Now this one, I wasn't even aware until I was a lot older that this had this was a, a book adaptation, but I remember watching it as a, a kid and remembering loving how much the movie had such a adventurous kind of sci-fi kind of futuristic kind of thing going on, and it was almost like a fever dream that the fact that I remembered it as an adult and I haven't watched it recently but it's forever in the back of my mind and one of my favorite movies and recently i found out that it's a book and it's called the city of ember it's a city that's basically underground and it's lit so world lit with lamps and it's the last bit of the human race we don't know what happened to the human race actually we don't know what's outside we just know this this kind of pit of a city and unfortunately, the lights are flickering. We're getting longer. That one was. Yeah, it's the third one this week. The generators are our only source of power. If it goes, we all go. Power is going out, and these group of kids notices, and they have to find out what's out there. They want to know what's more. They want to know why the lights are going out, what's wrong with everything. That this place is falling apart. No, I will not just sit around while Ember collapses. And it's in Sousa, a great adventure of these kids getting into adult works, you know? Because if they do figure out what happens, they might have to leave this pit of a city and go out and find out what's out there, you know? And it was one of the greatest movies I've ever watched as a child. And I am sure I'm going to watch it again. <laughs> because I've watched it a few times as a kid. Unfortunately, like Jumper and The Golden Compass, this series was not finished. It wasn't out. It didn't make another movie. All these movies, such great movies, and unfortunately, they got cut short. Look, well, we've got to tell them somehow. But that's why we have the books, and it's great knowing that this is a book adaptation because it's such a great movie, so you can't continue with the books. So guys, check that out. Guys, this show is one of my favorite shows to this day. I found out about it um, maybe a good three years now 
ago and let's just say it piques my interest i knew immediately after watching the first episode that this had to be a book adaptation there was no way sometimes you just know these things you know just know <laughs> and that is the discovery of witches guys for those who have actually watched it or read the book you know how good this series is it is thankfully one of the completed series so both on tv and i believe in stores and books and stuff to what is simply this young witch this young scholar she's a scholar first and foremost but she doesn't practice magic as her aunts or her parents did she lost her parents pretty young and there's this book that has the origins of not only witches but vampires and demons and this book chooses her to find it and now everyone wants this book the whole council of demons witches and etc now she has to stay alive and kicking and she does that with the help of a vampire that is so dashing <laughs> and so dashing and chemistry blossoms between the two there's so much heat i'm sorry am i bothering you no i'm just surprised you find a southern exposure comfortable you don't believe everything you read do you <laughs> there's so much heat a vampire and a witch but of course to make such a story more interesting vampires and witches can't date outside their race it's a big rule it's one of the very first rules that other species cannot interact that way and now commences a, a beautiful story that unfolds about a witch scholar that goes on to starting to practice her craft and know more about herself and figuring out what this book is and what to do with it why everyone really wants it and she has a vampire companion that helps her along the way and it it's a tale of magic and mystery and time travel guys so don't miss out and check this one out it's such a good such a good series and i can't wait to read the book guys check that out once the world was full of wonders but it belongs to humans now we have all but disappeared vampires and witches now the last one i have for you guys today is one of my favorite shows i am still in the i still have the belief that this is one of the no the most romantic series on television there's no doubt about it at least for me i have never seen a romance touch me <laughs> reach out and touch me and said i know you want what i have <laughs> and that is because this last entry number five is outlander guys oh for the those that watch the show and as well for those that read the book because i heard the book is a masterpiece i'm so excited to get it one day i cannot wait outlander is about a war nurse named claire she goes away for a while you know it's war and to help out and her husband goes away for a while to help out war and they finally get back together they were newlyweds by the way and they had to split and but they get back together but after five years so they go take a vacation to scotland try to renew their love and passion we were in scotland on our second honeymoon for a moment you see it you see the love in the eyes and you know you see the hesitance like do you remember what my body feels like <laughs> You remember how to touch me, how to caress me, and, and they do, and they, they fall back in love, and they renew that spark, and they're enjoying their vacation. And then Claire, exploring on her own, went and touched some rocks. She touched some rocks, and guess what? She went through time. Oh, and she went into the time of the Highlanders, the men of swords, of Scottish clothing and oh 
But she goes through time and she sees a man that looks just like her husband. Unfortunately, he tries to take advantage of her, but she's saved by this random Highlander. Truett! What? Truett! Who are you? And he puts her on a horse and helps her away. She's nothing in her shift. And what they think is a shift, honestly, so it was a not normal modern dress for her. I think it's about 200 or 300 years into the past. <laughs> and she finds a man, not the man that saved her, but a man named Jamie. Hurt. So she's a nurse, of course she has to help him. Taking a guess you've done this before. I'm a nurse. And thus ensues a beautiful story, guys. It's filled with swords and pirates and uh, passion. You'll never see an on-screen love like the love between Jamie and Claire. When they finally get together and join, it's magic. It's as much magic as how she, she gets there in the first place. It's beautiful. It's crafted really well. It's written like chef's kiss it's beautiful it's a beautiful on-screen love story when we were wed i saw you standing there so bonnie in your white shift couldn't think of anything but when i could have you alone naked next to me filled with action and spunk and fear and it gets real guys you can't miss out on this show nor the book I am also so very excited to read the book. I am looking forward to it every day. <laughs> every day it's on my list and I'm going to build my bookshelf, guys. That And I'm going to put all my books. I want, I'm going to put all my hardcovers, paperbacks and stuff on there. But this is definitely in my top five going to read for sure. Because the TV show makes it so so obvious that it's such a beautiful story and i can't wait to read that guys and some small voice inside warned me i wasn't supposed to be here i was an unwelcome voyeur to something ancient and powerful so that's it for today guys that's my movies and tv shows based on books guys i run a, an affiliation website um of books so guys please make sure to check it out all these books will be in the tv show slash movies based on books category so guys in the description below there's the link to that so guys go check that out and buy the books better yet buy the books and buy the movies and tv shows guys don't miss out don't miss out <laughs> down in the description also there are links to all the books that i spoke about today that has movie adaptations guys know that if you click on the link and you purchase one of these books that i will receive a commission guys so help a girl out i need three new orders or else i get booted so guys support me and i have fun making this video make sure you check out both the books and the movie adaptations guys Trust me, they are great series. Some, unfortunately, didn't get finished, but are completed in book form. So, guys, make sure you check that out. Guys, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Also, check out my personal stories that I created on Wattpad. The links are in the description box below. So, guys, that's it for today's recommendation video. Until next time.